Okay, the third thing we're gonna talk about is extension of your brand. What is the extension of your brand? So if you show up and you're a house cleaner and you have cleaning supplies, your cleaning supplies are an extension of you. Now you're gonna go, well, Angela, don't talk to me about cleaning supplies that has nothing to do with branding. Oh my goodness, it has everything to do with branding. When you show up at a customer's house and you get out of your car, a couple of things are happening. All of the cameras in the neighborhood are picking you up. All of the nosy neighborhoods that are like peeking out their windows, they're watching you. So are you opening a trunk and there's a whole bunch of clothes and junk and garbage and stuff in the back of your trunk? And are you sifting through stuff? And are you trying to put together your cleaning supplies for that house? Or did you show up at the house and you open up your trunk and you pull out two clean organized caddies because you did your inventory last night. And then you walk to the house with your stuff like, oh, I'm a professional. I totally have this under control. And you walk up to the door. You know what? You're putting on a show. And as you walk up to that house, they're looking at you saying, well, my house cleaner doesn't do that, right? So immediately you've elevated yourself above the other house cleaners that are rummaging through the back of the trunk in their car looking for their cleaning supplies. It's a little thing. When you get to the customer's house and the customer opens the door and they see that you have your cleaning supplies and you have one of everything and they're color coded and everything is in a nice cleaning caddy and your towels and your cloths are all folded, everything is organized. You know what it says to your customer? This is a package I can promote, okay? So now they want to promote this package because it's professional. And they're like, this was, this was nice, right? When you go to a restaurant and you order food and it arrives on a really nice plate, and it's a little bit of food and it's got the glaze on the top and a couple of little driblets here and there, three peas on the side. And you're sitting there and a part of you is thinking, man, that's really expensive. But there's a part of you that's like, eh, I can afford it and I'm sitting here eating it, right? House cleaning is expensive. And when people recommend you to their friends, it's like recommending them to that nice fancy restaurant. It's an experience. And so when people recommend you to their friend, they know that you're gonna show up wearing the uniform. They know that you're gonna have clean hygiene and that you're gonna be well-pressed. They know that your cleaning supplies are not rummaged through and that you took care of everything the night before, right? This is a package they are not willing to promote. They want to promote it. You are different from all the other house cleaners out there. Now, when we talk about extension of brand, I wanna bring up your car. We've talked a lot about our cars. Not that you have to have a fancy car, but your car must be clean. I don't care what kind of a car you drive, but it must be clean because it's an extension of you. Now, if you are a house cleaner, your car should also be clean. That is what you do for a living. You are saying, I understand, I implement, and I embody cleanliness. That is what I do. But if you show up in a crappy car that's dirty, that has a bunch of sledge on it, and there's mud from like running through mud puddles and stuff, and you haven't washed it in a while, it's an incongruent message. And so even at an unconscious level, your customer gets in the car, they go to work on the way out of the driveway, they drive past your dirty ragamuffin car that's fallen apart or is not well taken care of. There might be, you know, bags from McDonald's and junk and garbage in it and clothes and stuff in there. As they drive past that, unconsciously they're thinking, this is not a congruent message and they will not promote it. They will not. You do not get referrals from people that have incongruent messages from you. So when you talk about branding, what you're talking about is consistency across the board.